Shut up! I didn't say anything. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I've been gone for about two weeks and I'm so excited to be back and filming lots more videos for 2018, starting with this Mean Girls look. I'm sure I'm not the only one who rewatched Mean Girls over the winter break. It's just iconic, it never gets old to me, and I wanted to recreate Lizzie Lohan's look, Katie Heron, from when she is a newbie, and then the transition to cold, shiny, hard plastic. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you do, and comment below your favorite Mean Girls quote. Mine's anything that comes from uh, Karen Smith's mouth. She's just so funny. But anyways, there is a giveaway involved with this. I should have mentioned that, but you can win this burn book palette over on my Instagram. Not this exact one. I bought a new one uh, for you guys. So you could win one of these and you just have to comment on the photo pertaining to the giveaway and you could win. Let's get started with this video. Lindsay's makeup was done by Mario Cacioppo, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, and we'll have a list of the exact products in the down bar, but a lot of them were MAC products and some of those are discontinued now, so we're going to use some new ones. And for the skin, I'm going to start out with my favorite moisturizer. This is Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Cream, and then I'm following up with MAC Strobe Cream once I let the moisture sink in. First look is Katie's innocent, polished look for the first day of school. She wasn't super contoured, but there's always a bit of definition on camera, so I'm using the Gigi Hadid tinted primer just in areas I would normally contour, so underneath my cheekbones and then tapering downward, as well as underneath my jawline and a touch on the forehead. And then I'm going to go over top with Maybelline's 24 hour foundation. This is a little bit too high coverage for this look, so I'm thinning it out with more of MAC strobe cream. This is also going to add more dewiness to the skin, but I do love the lightest shade, it's perfect for super fair skin. If you need to conceal under the eyes, I like the Benefit Boing Brightening Concealer and this will just cancel out the darkness. And then I'm contouring my nose really lightly with Urban Decay Naked Skin Shape Shifting Palette and as always I like to take the darkest shade and I'm creating a pointier nose tip like Lindsay and then defining my bridge but you don't want this to look super done up. We're going to add freckles which will also make it appear a lot more natural. So the easiest way that I find to do this is just take a medium toned brow product and then dot over the bridge and the cheekbones adding little touches around the chin, the lip, uh, forehead but the best thing is when your product haven't been set yet just to take your finger and pat over the products and it really blends in and looks super natural. Still with my Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil, I'm filling in my brows lightly and I like to keep mine more natural. I am going to add a bit more of a curved shape like Lindsay's but hers were really thin and I don't want to change my brows so I'm just going with what I have but of course if you have thinner brows then you'll be more on point. Final step for brows, I'm using Revlon Colorstay Brow Mousse. This is in a red shade and it helps add that auburny tone to the brows. And moving on to a highlighter, this is optional because our skin is already looking really glowy and fresh. But I just got this one from Charlotte Tilbury and it's really beautiful but super natural. So it was perfect for this first look and I'm applying it to my chin, forehead, nose and right above my brows. Here I'm setting the skin with Patrick Star's setting powder. There's a reason why everyone's raving about it. It gives a nice matte finish but it still looks fresh and I didn't add too much on the highlighted areas to make sure I keep the sheen. And the original blush was MAC Stain in Pink Lure but it's discontinued so I mixed a gorgeous fresh pink called I'm a Lover for MAC on the apples of my cheeks, really built it up. And then I added an extra dimension blush in faux sure underneath and there isn't a ton going on with this makeup look so blush is more of the focus, especially because Katie is usually flushed looking at good old Erin Samuels. This was an extra step but my neck was a little bit paler than my face so I brought in a bit of warmth with Hoola Light Bronzer. And finally, the real star of the show, the Storybook Cosmetics of Mean Girls palette. So here's an overview, I'm obsessed with this packaging, of course it's shaped like the burn book, iconic hot pink and the names are super clever. They have a really great range of fun shadows, I'm using only this palette for this first look. So starting with the matte light shade called the plastics, I'm applying this to my brow bone and the inner corner of the eye. 
for a glow around the base of the lashes, use You Can't Sit With Us, a pretty matte peachy shade, and this looks especially great on making blue or green eyes pop like Lindsay. To blend this peach out, use Regina George all over the lid. This is my favorite shade in the palette. It has a rose gold reflex to it, and I've worked this up to the brow bone as well. I chose to add in Glen Coco above the crease in a rounded motion to give more depth to the eye. Added a bit more of that peach shadow because I felt like we lost it in there. And with one of my favorite liners, this is Revlon's Casual Liner in Fig, create a subtle line just into the lash line focused on the outer corners. Smoke out to soften up the line. And finally, with the matte plum shade, she doesn't even go here, continue to blend out the lash line. Curled those lashes and we're adding a volumizing mascara. I love the new Total Temptation Maybelline Mascara. It has a fluffy applicator and defines the eye but keeps the lashes still looking more on the natural side. You can for sure leave the liner how it is, I just have very rounded eyes so I like to taper them out for a bit more of an almond shape by adding the liner in the inner corners of the eye as well. I think curling the lashes after your mascara has dried also makes a big difference with the curl, but please do this gently, you don't want to chop off them lashes. And lips are super simple, this was actually my go-to lipstick in high school. It's Patisserie by MAC and I'm very minimally applying this to help complete the look. Keep watching to see the plastic transformation and thumbs up if you've enjoyed so far. Now we gotta complete the look by adding a simple low key ponytail. So keep your part slightly off center and then comb the back and just create a low ponytail. You don't want it too low right at the nape of your neck. You want it a about an inch higher so that you still see the pony when you're looking forward and have it slightly to the side as well. Also, sometimes I get a lot of questions like, oh, how do you change your hair color for these videos? My hair is definitely not as red as it's seen on camera right now. I use a mixture of sprays and then I also do change the saturation. So that is kind of the editing magic of it all. And the specific temporary hair color I'm using is by L'Oreal. It's their Colorista sprays and this one is in rose gold. It has quite a bit of sparkle in it, but it's really pretty. And I found that it did make the hair a little bit harder to work with. It's best if you style your hair and then add it rather than the other way around but I love how it turned out and then add a plaid shirt maybe a khaki jacket and we've got the look down Okay guys, it's time to get plastic. With this portion of the video, we're just gonna amp up this makeup and have everything just a little too much. So first we're gonna bronze. I'm using my favorite bronzer, the Hourglass Ambient Bronzer, and carving out the cheekbones a little bit more, adding more of a sun-kissed look. And then the blush, I am obsessed with Charlotte Tilbury blushes. They're my favorite thing from Charlotte Tilbury. This one is called Love is the Drug, and I'm amping up that color. The highlight is also going to be amped up. This is the Gigi Hadid Illuminator and it has a gorgeous pink glow. I chose to recreate Katie's look here because I loved the eye makeup and I thought she looked so pretty in a light blue. So I have two different options for what you can go with for just kind of different price points. First I have the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and this is in Pacific. Really similar blue and super easy to blend. So this is going to go in the inner corner and slightly onto the lid. And back with the palette, we're gonna experiment with the shades again. First, I'm taking Glen Coco and I'm gonna carve out the crease a little bit. And I took a bit of Wednesday, which is a hot pink, and I'm applying this above my crease, just in the center for a, for a fun pop of pink. I thought it looked nice with the blue. Moving on to liner, we're gonna heavily line the eyes. I'm using the Gigi Hadid black liner. This one is super black and really stays put and we're going to smoke this out. Trying to incorporate as many shades as I can while still keeping true to the character. I'm adding she doesn't even go here for a fun pop of purple in the center underneath the lash line and to help smoke it out so it's not as harsh. And then I also took some of that purple and carved out the crease very minimally. 
add on lots of mascara. I used Bad Gal Lash by Benefit here and then with Max Lip Liner in Marcella. I'm lightly lining my lips, fading it in, and the gloss I went with is called Destiny from Buxom. I love Buxom glosses, but I swear this was Houdini gloss. I couldn't find it after I used it. So another great option uh, that's kind of more trendy right now is the Fenty gloss. It also works great. So here is my plastic transformation. Let's take a look at the hairstyle. Got some curls in and we're creating a really low-key half up half down style. Tossel some front pieces to the back, twist and then pin in the shape of an X using two decorative silver clips. I created these curls slash waves with my Bellamy wand. I didn't hold the curls on the barrel for super long so that they wouldn't be a perfect ringlet but more of a wave and then I ran through with my fingers and sealed in place with a new favorite hairspray by Mark Anthony. My hair is more curly and full here. Lindsay had choppy front bangs, her hair was more thinned out, very 2000s, and she had tons of layers where her hair would curl, but this is just my version. And here is the full outfit. First up, this top is from Hollister. Hollister and Abercrombie tend to have these style tops, so check there first. And this pretty exact skirt is from Forever 21 Online. I'll have as many items as I can linked down below. And then I also added a pendant with my initial, big silver square earrings, and a coach bag from the 2000s just for a fun touch. Vote in the poll which look you like best, Jungle Freak or Cool Shiny Hard Plastic, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram and enter for a chance to win a new Mean Girls palette by Storybook Cosmetics. Thanks for watching! I hope you guys enjoyed today's Mean Girls inspired look and if you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe for more beauty videos. If you are subscribed, make sure you hit that bell if you want to be notified for every upload because uh, I might not show up in your feed. It's just how YouTube works now. So hit that bell button and you won't miss an upload. Also, as well, whoa, really bad at speaking today, but check out my Instagram if you want to win your own Storybook Cosmetics palette. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in my next video.